Hey kindergartners and first graders! Our project today with our shapes is making a monkey. So we are going to use circles, half circles, and rectangles again with some zigzag lines to make a monkey. I'm super duper excited about it and hope that you enjoy our project. Little different. Um, I need you to use your pencil first because we're going to have to do some erasing. When we do pencil first, I want you to draw really, really light. Let's see how my pencil is moving around in my fingers. I'm not holding so hard that I hurt the paper with my pencil. If I press down really, really hard, my skin would hurt. But if I press down really, really lightly, it's more of a tickle. So we wanna start with our hands held back a little bit. I know it's really, really hard for you guys. You're just starting to get a grip on it. A lot of you don't even hold your pencil correctly, but let's try really, really hard to do a really, really light circle. If mom has some circles that you, or grandma, or dad, whoever, has a circle that you can trace, maybe a lid to a container, um, you can do that. Um, so we're gonna do a circle down below. Okay. And then about the same size circle, maybe a little bit smaller above that circle. And I'm putting it off the edge or off the side a little bit too. Okay. So this time, this is the reason why we needed to draw with our pencil first because I'm gonna do a line going across the bottom of that top circle and I go out a little bit far because I'm going to make my monkey's bottom of his face a half circle like we just did with some of our birds going off that side. And then up here, hopefully you did it nice and light again. This is where his oval is going to be for his nose. Okay, and then I'm going to erase some of those spots. So that's why we had to draw really, really, really light. So that way I can erase in his mouth. Okay. Then we're going to put some great big eyeballs on here because that's what I love in drawing cartoon like creatures is big ol' eyeballs. In the example that I took this from, the eyes are kind of all over the place. One is looking up, one is looking down. So if you want to do that, you can. You can have them looking at each other. You can have one here and one here. You can have them looking sideways. You can have them looking um, together like a normal eye. I'm going to have mine both looking up like he's trying to reach something. Okay. And then we're gonna do some circles or half circles or a letter C for his ear. Okay, and then I'm gonna do an itty bitty little C on the inside for his inside of his ear. And it's okay if they are not the same size. Not a big deal at all. Okay, so that is my monkey's face. I'm just going over a little darker so you can see my monkey face. Okay, then I'm gonna do a neck coming down from the face to the body. And then my body I'm going to 
make his belly a lighter color. So I'm gonna do a circle inside that circle. I'm going to have one foot going off, one leg going off this way. And I did the bottom one a little longer than the top one because now when I do this gigantic foot, one, two, three, it went off the page. Um, then that bottom goes like that. If yours doesn't go off the page, um, you can put like four fingers and a thumb coming out. And then I'm gonna go zigzag line for the bottom of his leg to his foot. Okay, then I'm gonna do the similar thing on this side for another leg. Again, that inside leg is a little longer because then that's where his heel goes. And I'm gonna do one toe, two toe, and I'm off the page again. Again, if you need more toes than that, go for it. And that zigzag line for his feet. Okay. Then for his arm, again, I want a rectangle. This time I'm going to do an oval over here for his thumb past that little line right there. Oh, I went off the page again. Okay. Then I have a curved line coming down and going around like that. Okay, and I'm gonna have him, like this is his thumb, and this right here is going to be the bottom of a tree. Okay, but I want his fingers kinda gripping that tree. Okay. And then we're gonna do another arm. Going up and over. And this time I'm gonna do that oval close to his head. Um, and then his thumb or his hand comes down and around. And you can do the same sort of thing on this side. If you still have room, maybe he can grab a leaf or something. Maybe I'll put some leaves in the background, some zigzag lines. Because he's flying high in the tree. And then I'm just gonna color it in once I have all my leaves and whatnot done, all my details. So this crazy little guy, I'm gonna use my black marker and I'm going to trace all of my pencil lines. What I want you to do is do your best nice and slow to try and cover over those lines to the best of your ability. But when we get to places we were supposed to erase, then do not trace over it. Like my nose here still has a little bit of that half circle or that capital letter D 
that oval is going, or it's going through my nose oval, but I don't want, I don't want that showing. Whoops, I didn't trace that very good. I'm actually thinking about doing some little nostrils here just to see what that looks like. All right, kiddos, I am gonna color these in using art sticks. If you have been at West Ottawa before, you will know what an art stick is. If you haven't, then art sticks are basically the lead of colored pencils, but they are woodless. So we don't have to sharpen them. The whole thing is like a big colored pencil. Um, and so they blend nicely and they just look really, really, really awesome. So real quick, I'm going to color these in with my black marker. I forgot to do that before. And then I'm just going to use my art sticks to, um, to color this bad boy in. So here we go.